Hello all and welcome to the channel. Today I'm bringing you an overview of Stockpile. If you have to run through, check out the video I'm bringing you guys next week. Now this is a stock market game of insider trading. It's brought to us by the designers at the bottom and these guys on the far right. Now this one plays two to five, says it takes about 45 minutes. I usually have plays in about 60 to 90 minutes on this one. And this is that sort of low complexity, just touching on medium complexity. Now we are investors today. We've got the yellow portfolio here, red and blue. And you'll have this portfolio of a share to begin with. This is your one value stock. You'll be keeping no secret throughout the game. If you are fortunate to have a stock split, you'll put your stocks here. They may have come from here and they'll, they'll be double in value. You've got a load of money. And in this game, it's about insider information, folks. Here is the board. So you've got six companies in the middle, blue at the top all the way down to yellow. And a free play game, you're going to have seven rounds to play out at the top there. Once all the rounds are over, you're going to add up the value of your stocks depending on where they are on this tracker here. There's bonuses as well, 10k if you have the majority of a certain stock. If it's ties, it's 5k. And you add up any money and profits you've acquired throughout the game. Most money is the winner. So this financial forecast and insider information, you can see we know a snippet of information here. American Automotive is going to be going down free for folks uh, during this particular round now how does a round play out then so the information phase we're going to shuffle and deal one company card and forecast card to each player so i've kind of already done that there's one face up there in a free player game there's two remain in there now each player is going to keep this information secret so you can see the yellow players here know that it's going to be a plus two on epic electric so there may be want to try and bid on one of these stockpiles it's going to happen next if there's any yellow shares there these guys then what have they got leading laboratory is going to go down to maybe they've got a load of that stock and they want to sell it before the movement phase here we know stanford steel is going to go plus four so each player has a snippet of information plus that public information and the next phase you do is supply so you're going to place one card open up from the stock deck here uh, we'll add them to each of these sort of calculators at the bottom. Now you can see in a free play game we're utilising these, four player, five player. So we've got a snippet of information as to what we're bidding on there. Then each player is going to get two of these cards and they have the choice. The starting player is going to choose one of these to go face up in his pals and one to go face down. I'm going to be blasé folks and just go right one up here and one down here there is a lot to think about when you place them and what you're sort of thinking about is well what stocks do i own and do i want people to know that that certain stock's there because if it's an american automotive and you reveal that then people aren't probably going to want to bid on it but if you do it on a stock that you know is going to go up plus two you know maybe you're not too fussed about that red going down and it's kind of you know you've you've acquired it hopefully you've got a cheap bid but you know that actually you, your focus is on the green share maybe okay so everyone to do that so i'll quickly just take two cards for the next player and they're like okay i'll pop that one there and that one face up there and then the last two so we've got another green a flush of green so they're going to put a green there let's just move these out of the way slightly and move that red dude and then they're going to put this one oh did they put that face up or face down okay there we go so we've got three cards face down free face up yep we are fine so everyone now has to go into the demand phase which is where you are bidding on one of these stockpiles so let's just say yellow was first and they're like okay i want to avoid these fees i uh, i don't really know what's going to happen with green maybe i'm just going to take a chance on this one so they're going to bid six then clockwise the red players up thinking right, i'll go for a cheeky zero on that i don't mind paying 1k in fees and blue's thinking no chance mate i'm going to outbid you they're going to go free so if you are outbid the token goes back to the player and when it comes back around to their turn they can then rebid so maybe they go for this one for zero and thinking okay i don't mind paying zero fees and i'm just going to get whatever's under this unknown one so then everyone pays the amount you bid so red's paying zero they'll take these free cards if there's any fees so they'll have to pay this 1k fees if you can't you just keep it face up and pay it when you can now these stocks they've attained who was that red player would go into this stock uh, uh, stocks what can't pronounce my words here this stock portfolio on the left so the value one so yellow pay their bid here what well, we got six 
take these yep they've got those three shares added now in terms of the deck you've got fees you've got stocks in various companies you've got his action cards so there's a minus two which is your choice you can choose which stock and there's a plus two hiding in there somewhere and that is the next phase the action phase so let's say the blue player had this card they can influence which stock they're going to move so they're like okay i'm fed up of yellows being so you know, expensive and profitable for the players. I'm knocking it down too. That card goes face up on the discard pile and we move over to the selling phase. So each player, starting at the start player, can sell a number of their shares at the current market value because you haven't undertaken the movement yet. You can see American Automotive is going to go down by three. So maybe they're like, oh, I'm going to sell out on all of my uh, reds in this case. Now, if you have any shares on the left, the value one, if they have split on previous turns, they're worth two. You could sell, you know, your, your times two and get half the price because then you move that share back here. So basically you've sold one of the two shares and you put one back in play. Or you could just sell it for times two. So everyone gets to sell. You then do the movement phase. So all these cards are revealed. You undertake this one. So the red is going down three. You reveal the top ones of these, so they're in pairs as well, so bottom link banks going plus one. You do these, you do the ones that were in your hand that you've been hiding and you've been desperate to tell the world about. You fluctuate all these. Now, if one of these markers goes down to the sort of the bin icon, well, I'm sure you guess what's going to happen there. The stock is bankrupt. It resets to five. Everyone with shares is handing them back to the discard pile. If it goes all the way to the top, so it gets to here, that is a stock split. Any of your stock certificates you have on the left are going to go over to the right there. And then this resets back to here. You can see the same match and sim because effectively you've gone 10, 11. So the five plus the six is 11 and then you carry on and if it splits again and you've got shares that are in the times two of yellow in this case you're going to get 10k bonus for each one there so rather than that split going again you're getting a little bonus okay so we've done the movement phase now one of these cards in the bonus game or not the bonus game in the basic game one of these has got a double ooh, what was it called it's a double uh, dollar symbol for a dividend well anyway if you see a card come out with two dollar symbols however many dollar symbols are it's a thousand dividends so if that came out for american automotive let's try and find it there it is so if this was the case american automotive if you've got shares in that you're getting two thousand payout for each one that is it end of the round you pass the start player token and you go again until all seven rounds are up and as i said earlier you're going to sell at the value of those shares you're going to get the most majorities paying out those bonuses of 10k and draws if it's um, ties it's 5k each and the money you've acquired throughout the game most money is the winner and i should add there is a host of extra cards and expansions and little investment bits and bobs in the box to keep you going for a long long time with this one enjoy folks